Welcome back everybody, Gaming Grandpa here. This is episode 8 of Kill It With Fire. This will be the final mission and 100% wrap up will be on this video here. Just like moving out my first little series, I'm going to have a wrap up video. I don't know, I think it was 5 or 6 minutes. It's just kind of like a cool looking PowerPoint. It tells you like the easiest, easiest achievement, the hardest achievement, most boring achievement. Just little things like that I thought was kind of interesting. Um, just something different I guess to do to show everybody how easy it is or how hard it would be and so far the two games I played none of them have been really that hard so it, it isn't too bad but anyhow we're going to be playing the last mission which is consequences today and we're going to do the last arachnal challenge which will unlock a few achievements also all the collectibles you can finish up on this one the batteries the equipment and the trackers all the upgrades and things like that here's your four objectives nothing really hard at all um, the, you're only going to be able to get two of them at the moment until you actually do the arachnal challenge which is at the end um, I do believe that there's batteries in here there's batteries over here but we have to get into the office and the only way to do that is into here Once you get into the office, that objective unlocks. Now, the reason you want to get in here is because there's upgrades, batteries, there's all kinds of things in here. Obviously, they're not here now because I've already completed it, but that's where you would get them at. And then you come down here, that takes care of the first objective, and then you want to get into the downstairs office, which when you come out here, you want to hang a left, you want to move this pallet, and then boom you get into this office and I think there was some upgrades and different things back in here too maybe nope they were just on the table nothing too hard um, something on the shelf there your cargo pants upgrade which is unlimited unlimited ammo which is one that you definitely want to get now there's not spiders on this mission there's freaking cockroaches everybody loves cockroaches right <laughs> no <laughs> All right, in order to unlock this last arachnal challenge, you have to have gotten all the other arachnal challenges done. And otherwise, you play this mission and it won't be there. You won't be able to do it because you don't have them done. So, <clears throat> to make things easier, I'm going to use my good old unlimited ammo rocket launcher because I have my camel pants, cargo pants done, I believe. Now, what you could do is you can get all your collectibles, you know, your equipment upgrades and all that stuff, and you can exit out of the mission and then restart it with your cargo pants installed. That way you have the unlimited ammo. This isn't hard. A lot of people think it's hard. I don't think it's hard at all. You just have to kill all of these. You can use your um, energy drink if you want. There's really no reason to. But just like everything else I like to do it <clears throat> so I'll probably do that so let's go ahead and get this one done with here we go now just like all the other ones they come out everywhere when you're <clears throat> I mean they come out all over the place and you can feel free to blow everything up you want it actually will help you kill some Like I said, they come everywhere. So just keep kind of blasting away and eventually you'll get them. You have plenty of time. Actually, you'll get more than what you should. <clears throat> These little cockroaches are everywhere, man. I hate cockroaches worse than spiders. Ugh. The good old rocket launcher just kills absolutely everything. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and drink one more just because and as you can see I've got it done with plenty of time to spare I don't think there's any back here they they might be um, I've seen different videos they normally like I said they just pop up in here and I think my game's going to freeze again so look at them all Like I said, they come to you. They just want to get smacked. All right, challenge complete. Of course, time ran out. We had it. All right, that takes care of that. That would be that third objective, and you should get an achievement at that point. 
Oh my goodness, there's huge spiders. No. I can't kill any. Okay. Now, the last objective is to step into the light. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> but as you can see, the light will be coming any minute. Now that I said that, is it actually here? It is. See all the little bubbles or whatever you call them? The rays of light. There we go. No. <clears throat> that would finish the game. And therefore, hopefully you have all the achievements done. I mean, the good news is, if you don't have certain achievements done, like there's one where you got a no-scope a spider with the assault rifle, I used to think you'd have to jump up in the air and do it. You don't have to. Get you an energy, well, get you some cheese puffs, drop them on the floor, wait for a spider to come to you, drink the energy drink, get your assault rifle, and just do a complete circle and then shoot, and it will unlock. It's actually fairly simple. So that should take care of all the achievements and the 100%. And now we have a 1,000 gamer score for this game. Yay. <laughs> all right. Like I said, I still don't know what game I'm going to play next. Um, just to show you, I've been playing Viva Pinata. I did finish Undead Horde already. The first game I played was Moving Out. That was the first 100% and the 2,000 points. The second one was Kill It With Fire, but obviously I had to redo the videos because I messed them up. The third one I did, which is already done, Undead Horde. The videos are done too. I'm gonna, I'm uploading them now. I'm playing Viva Pinata. I'm going to do a few different things with this channel. Everything's dedicated to 100% games that I've completed. I know I can complete, so that's why I'm playing them. Viva Pinata is going to be under the backwards compatible series. Now, <clears throat> this one, I'm not going to have videos of everything I do, just key points. I might do the romance scenes. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just playing. Um, I really enjoy that game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I also have tons of other games that I can play because I have Buku games. So I think it might be maybe Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man or Galaga or something to that sort um, to knock out another thousand pretty quick because let's face it, there's a lot of easy games out there. So that's what this whole channel is about. Hopefully I'll end up getting a million gamer score in a few years and you can follow my path all the way to it and enjoy the journey with me. I do have one more video for this game. It's going to be a quick wrap up and it's going to be probably five to six minutes long just like I did for moving out. So anyhow, that's the end of this video and the end of the game. So everybody, thank you for watching and have a good day.